Hello, this is Jamal Johnson. I'm here with Dr. Joseph Burnett. He's a doctor of physical chemistry and a professor of teaching here at Iowa State University. And we're going to ask him a few questions about chemistry and uh, things you're interested about. So the first question I've got for you, uh, what is physical chemistry? So the way I tend to think of this is that uh, science is like this huge, broad area and you label it according to what your focus is. So, you know, you think about biology, it's part of understanding everything in the physical universe that has something to do with living organisms. So, and physics sort of looking at everything from the most fundamental mathematical basis. And chemistry is, what's central to chemistry is that it's about materials. It's about what things are made of. So I would say that physical chemistry is that region that overlaps materials with the bigger, broader everything of physics, if that makes any sense. Yeah, that's, so that's a good explanation. In that sense, we, you know, as a physical chemist, we're trying to understand physical properties of, that are due to composition, due to physical state, but at the basic core physics level. Awesome. awesome. So like how physics and chemistry overlap. Yeah, for yeah. sure. It's the bend, it's a Venn diagram between okay. physics and chemistry. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So the next question I have for you is what got you interested in chemistry? Well, that's a funny question, actually, because a lot of people that are chemists you know, started out when they were little kids, they knew they wanted to be a scientist. They had a chemistry, a chemistry set that they played with and they had a good experience in high school chemistry. Mine was not, that is not my experience. <laughs> so um, I had a chemistry set when I was growing up as a kid, but I only did magic tricks with it. So I was, <laughs> I was a geek that was not scientific. Um, and when I went to high school, I still remember I took chemistry and I absolutely despised it. My instructor hated me. I still remember his name was Dr. Beck. And uh, for whatever reason, I seemed to rub him the wrong way. And I, you know, if there was a way to screw up in the laboratory, I did, and, you know, and I still, there was this one day I came in and I still remember it like it was yesterday. He was so angry with me about something that he turned purple and he couldn't speak. He just, his tongue started like wiggling like a little snake, he just, you know? So when I took, when I went to college, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I knew that I was uh, mathematically oriented. Um, chemistry and physics were both a struggle for me in high school. And so when I got to, to, to uh, undergrad, I was started out as a pre-med. So really? I thought I was gonna be a biology major. Um, that lasted like half a semester because I, <laughs> I took AP biology and they threw me into botany. Mm. And uh, well, I liked a lot of biology um, and I liked a lot of botany, but just there was so much memorization, I couldn't handle it. I had to take chemistry because I was pre-med and uh, I dreaded it. I thought I was gonna do as bad in it in, as I did in high school. And it turns out that at that point, my brain was ready to, to understand and wrap my head around chemical concepts. And uh, by the end of the first semester, I was a chemistry major, and it just it made sense to me. Um, and then from there, um, I, I that was a, a sort of a weird path as well. So a lot of my friends were organic chemists, and I really stink at organic chemistry. <laughs> uh, but I sort of thought that, uh, and this will be the advice part. Uh, right. I'll say a little bit. So I, I thought that that in order for me to graduate as a well-rounded chemist, I needed to be good at organic chemistry too. So while I excelled at analytical chemistry and physical chemistry, organic was something I never got higher than a C in it. Um, and then I was really not a very intelligent individual because when I had an opportunity to do undergraduate research, I sought out an organic project and uh, and I, when I had opportunities to take advanced undergraduate courses, I took advanced organic chemistry. <laughs> uh, and I was miserable at it. And that was really a good learning experience for me because I would do this undergraduate laboratory experience and, and it was a small school. So I worked in Dr. Smith's office 
he had a hood in his office. And every day I would go in there and I would beat my head against the wall. And then one day I, I screwed something up royally. And uh, you know, I was upset with myself and Dr. Smith just looked at me and said, Joe, you don't need to be an organic chemist. <laughs> and it was sort of like the world stopped because at that moment I thought, what the hell have I been doing, you know? And I realized I should build on my strengths, you know, and not worry about what I'm not so good at. So, so if, you were to do, if you distilled it down, you'd say, build on your strengths, be good at what you really want to do, and yeah. be good at what you're good at, yeah. rather than wasting your time with stuff that you right. hate. Awesome. All right, and then for my last question for you, um, if you could teach everyone in the world one chemistry concept, and I could, if you want, you can bring up physics if you'd like. Sure, um, sure. Uh, one chemistry or physical concept, uh, what would it be? So, honestly, I would look at it from the chemistry point of view, right? And, and that, that, that's such an interesting question because, you know, you could go 10,000 different directions with it because I'm also a scientist. Right. And I actually, fr from the science point of view, I wish that people recognize that the world operates in a logical manner right. and that you should make all decisions logically, <laughs> okay? Right. And you don't deny science. I guess that's... That's big, you know, and especially in this turbulent political times, there's a lot of people that are denying reality. Right. And uh, that basically says you're, you're not looking at the world analytically. And I think that's a, a huge problem. But from the chemistry point of view, I would say that the most important thing, and this comes across in quantum mechanics and, and in general chemistry, is that chemistry is about electrons mm -hmm. and if you understand what electrons want to do you know not that they're sentient individuals right. but if you understand what an electron's going to do you understand a lot of chemistry right? so awesome well thank you for talking with me today yeah, it's my pleasure um, yeah. i hope you have a good rest of your weekend yep you too bye guys <laughs>